Hi everyone, welcome to another Endgame study. I got this one from Jacob Agard's book, uh, Excelling at Chess Calculation, and it's White to Play and Win. So as always, you should pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and then when you're done, we will work it out together. So what the heck is the answer here? I'm going to start thinking now, so you may want to do the same. If you're trying to solve it with me. So we'd like to get our rook to the back rank and then checkmate the king. That seems pretty clear. What is the problem with that plan? It's tough to say. Like if we go rook to c3, what is black's defense? That's what we need to find out. And that is causing me some trouble figuring it out. Uh, Rook to c3. Once we find black's defense, that will help us figure out why... Um... Okay, I see the defense. The defense, and I think the only defense, is something like this. Bishop to g5. But we have to move h6 in a position like this. And if take uh, g7, and if bishop take, king f7. So this is also a, a bit of a problem, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and if this move, we can just take and go king f7. So, I mean, rook c3 looks strong, but it also seems too easy. Um, I feel like I must be missing something. Is there another defensive plan? I see another one. Rook c3, rook h1. Rook c8, rook c1. And next move, black will put the rook on the 7th rank, thereby stopping us from playing king to f7 and checkmating him. So that's another plan. So I'm beginning to feel... Hold on. Hmm. Does f4 make sense for any reason? Rook c3, rook h1. Let's say at that point we make a move like... Gosh, I don't know. I can't quite find. I can't quite find what I'm looking for here. Rook c3, rook h1. Hmm. Help. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, folks. You know, I noticed something else that's even simpler. If rook c3 is rook d2. Oh, well, in this case, actually, we do have this move. And then the king will come out, and we will win. So, rook c3, rook h1. I noticed some other problem, though. One moment, folks. One moment. I, I see some interesting ideas on the horizon. They just don't quite work, but they almost work. Maybe they... Wait, wait a second. So, let me just get this straight. Rook c3, rook h1, rook here, and then rook 2... Yeah, I mean, the problem is... We don't have time to attack his rook with, like, king to d8. So, this is tricky. What about the move f4? What point would that have? If bishop...
bishop takes rook to c3. Um, rook h1. I'm just trying to find some reason why it might be different. And then let's say we played h6. I don't know. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem to, to help me in any way. Mm. Um. Damn. Rook c3, rook h1. I'm just going to look at this one more time. And then I'm going to look at some weird moves. Like f4. Let's just look at this. Just for my own amusement. Like, for example, if rook c1, I think h6 is winning. This is the idea. But like, what if he just keeps taking things? How, how does this help us? That's where it's hard to, it's a hard question to answer. I mean, I know. Hmm. Well, I have some weird, weird, weird idea, but it seems impossible. But all right, I'm going to give it a shot. Rook c3, rook h1. Rook, not rook c8, but king, hold on. I had an idea. <laughs> I promise. It was based on the position I just had on the board. It was crazy. <laughs> but I can't remember how it started. Jeez, Greg. It's really late. It's 3 in the morning. I'm having trouble. Oh, okay. But that doesn't help at all. I just wanted to go here, but I don't, I don't see what the point is after rook c7. My point was here. I was going to play this. Or I was going to... I guess I was going to do this. No, I wasn't. I was going to do some waiting move. I was going to do like king here and then h6. But then he can check me with his rook. Oh man. Um, I really have to go to bed. I'm so tired. I just wanted to do one more video. I didn't know it would be a long one, unfortunately. You just never know how difficult the puzzles are going to be. It's tough. It's a tough situation. <laughs> mm. Rook to d3. You can just go rook to d2. Doesn't help us at all. I'm going to look at this move and just try to find something here. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to be tough. I think it's going to be tough. Huh. I have some weird idea. No, it's a horrible idea. Um just can't find a way through. I should really give up, but it's late and I'm unable to think, so I can't, I can't make the correct decision to give up, because I'm just too tired to <laughs> figure it out, figure out that I should give up. Um, kill me now. F4. I don't know. Pawn takes rook d3 might be good. That's, what, what are we even trying to do here? I don't even know. I'm going to look at the stupid answer. All right. It's going to happen. Let's turn on Gini. Sometimes it just tells me the first move, and then I know. So, rook c3, rook h1 is the first move. I feel like I briefly saw this move show up on screen. 
when, when Houdini was looking at it. So let's say that happens. I mean, I don't understand exactly the point. And I might be wrong that that move appeared on the screen as well. King f7, rook c1. Man, <sighs> confusing. All right, all I know is that g5 is the right move. I'm going to go from this point because I, I kind of want to just figure out the, the main idea here. I mean, some kind of h6 move at, at the right moment. King f7, rook c1. h6, bishop takes. I don't see how that helps us. Rook c8, rook c1. I don't see the big idea. I need to distract this bishop somehow, man. Rook c8, rook c1, rook d8. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just takes it and goes bishop f6. Why is this so hard for you, Greg? What about h6 now? Why would that help? You can take with the bishop. And why in the world would this help us? I don't see why it would help us. This is a mystery, man. A mystery of science. All right, I give up. <laughs> what? what? It says it's like mate in like two moves or something. It says h3. I thought that's what it said. Bishop takes. I can't figure it out though. <laughs> Why am I bad at chess? How can this be mate? Why don't I see it? Why don't I see it? Oh, wait. Oh my god, this is like the whole idea I had, f4. Jesus. I'm sure it's f4. It wasn't mate in 3. I'm so tired I can't even read it correctly, I'm sure. And the idea is now we've, we've created a second line, and now we can go king f7. I'm pretty sure this is it. And after rook here, check. Um, I mean, a very beautiful puzzle. Whoa, I just turned my queen into a rook. Um, and then it's checkmate. How about, oh, it's mate in seven. Okay. What a, what an amazing thing that happened there. Um, yeah, amazingly after F4, there's just no way for black to stop me. We're just going to move our king. I can't reset up the position because uh, I replaced something on the board by accident. But... I mean, I have to go to bed, too. But basically, we opened that line up. Where was the position? I don't even know how to do this. This rook was here, right? We opened that line up, and then... I don't know where this guy was. And we play king f7. I'm sorry, the bishop's somewhere else, though. The bishop's on... The bishop's, like, not here, right? I'm confused. It's like here or something. But yeah, we opened up this line and we're threatening this one and this one. And there's like no way to stop it. I know there's a pawn in f4 too. I, I I just lost the position. I'm sorry. You know what? I can set it up again super fast. Just because we got to go over that. Just, it was What? That's not the position. Unbelievable. Sorry. <laughs> That's like the last position. I totally got to go to bed like right now. This is not supposed to take so long. Um, g5, take, h6, unbelievable, rook take, king f7, and now f4, it's just like if the pawn takes, king f7 is mate, if bishop takes, we open up a new, a new pathway, and there's no way to stop it. Unbelievable puzzle, I gotta go. Thanks guys for watching, see you next time, bye bye.